Hi darlings, this is Kenny the Messy Sofa over at Royal Appleberry and today I am coming with a custom order. So with this custom order, I have done it before. I've done it uh, breaking up into three smaller soaps. I've done it breaking up into two smaller soaps. So this go round, um, one of my darling subscribers, Cherry, she really, really loved my uh, my earthy goodness, which was patchouli, and she really loved my uh, wondrous soap, which was a lush dupe of Karma. So she said, can I make her two separate batches, you know, just take the three pound loaf and uh, split up into two separate batches, and she wanted to pick the colors, one being predominantly pink and the other one being uh, more white or black. And um, I kind of have the designs in my head. Just kind of got everything here. Everything is like really cold. It's you can see this is my lye water. <laughs> it's got a, a cold little skin over top. It's sometimes it gets extremely cold down here, but it's okay. Um, so my oils have chunked up a little bit, like my hard oils. But I'm just gonna stick blend it all out, and it will be all fine. And so, as you can imagine, I am soaping cold. Um, matter of fact, let me check the temperatures. My lye water is 68 and my soap is 78. So, it's not that cold, but, um, uh, it'll work. So, yeah, let me get everything mixed in and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, I am back and I have a whole lot of cups. And I'm not sure I need all of these cups, but I just pulled them out anyway, just in case I do. So, um... I, I think I have this mental picture in my mind, but whenever I go to actually, like, make it happen, it's just like, um, what was I supposed to do? So, <laughs> this has set over here and got a little bit thick. Why? Well, I, I don't know. So, I'm just going to stir that out. And, hopefully, it plays nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and separate these two because these are going to be two separate batches. And I'm just going to do a little bit of eyeballing. Because ain't no got time to be measuring nothing. Mm-mm. Sure don't. Okay. So, let's see what we got. Let's see. Let's see. I'll scrape around the outer edge. And that way it should make it pretty even. I'm going to hand stir my fragrance in just because things are getting a little on the stiff side. It doesn't matter which design is which. That smells absolutely pleasant. So this is my earthy goodness. Go ahead and pour that in. And hopefully these fragrances are nice enough to loosen things up for me. I don't know why. Probably because I soap so cold. And that did loosen up pretty nicely. This is not the supplier that I had before. This one is from uh, Nature's Garden. Yeah. This one is from Nature's Garden. It's a lush dupe of Karma, which I said before. Because my supplier that I had before is no longer in business. Um, so I had to try a different brand. Hopefully it works out well. And then my earthy goodness. Um, that's patchouli, which came from Rustic Essentials. So, um, I should probably get a different spatula too. Am I going to go ahead and pour the fragrance in there yet? No. Am I? No. Am I? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think about that for a second. Because I, I was I was attempting to be brave and do both of them at the same time. But I think not. I might just get confused. And things go very, very quickly on the wrong side. So, first what I am going to do. It's going to be in this mini mold. And I am going to do... Okay. Pink and white. And pour that in. I think, yeah, okay, I think that'll do. That will do. Yes, lovely, lovely fragrance. That really loosened that up nicely. Okay, so get all of these out of the way, the ones that are not being used. And it's just going to be half C's, you know, half C's. So half in there, and then half in here, and then more here. And then we're gonna keep that up and I am going to hand stir this as much as possible and then I'll use my stick blender to give it one quick buzz to make sure all of my colors are incorporated and then uh because nobody wants streaky or chunky bits so okay I think 
I think that should be, I should probably just turn it around and use the measurements on this cup because they do still have it. But that was, that was pretty spot on. Yeah, I was. If you're new to my channel, hello. I am so food and happy you found me. Um, again, I am Kenny. Yes, I'm a girl with a boy's name. <laughs> the Messy Sofer. And I call myself a Messy Sofer. You want to know why? Stick around. You'll find out. So, <laughs> but, um, although I make a whole bunch of messes myself, come out pretty cool. If I must say so myself, I am so fucking happy that you decided to swing on by and stick around because uh, we do have fun over here. We really do. And I would love for you to become a part of the Stinking Awesome crew. And I know it's a little early to ask you to subscribe, but go ahead and do it anyway, just because you won't regret it. At least I hope you won't. <laughs> we do have fun over here, so hopefully you would like to and hit that notification bell if you want to get notifications of when I post new videos because I do post them weekly. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you guys with stirring this up. I'm going to bring you back for that. Okie dokie, I feel like I got everything mixed as best as it's going to get. And um, my white is titanium dioxide. You get that at TKB Training or Rustic Essentials, whatever you choose. And this pink is from TKB Training, and it is called Neon Reformulated Neon Pink. Whoops! Don't drop that. And that's it right here. Just in case you were wondering. tell you guys because I feel horrible when this happens from now on if you want to ask me any questions or whatever the case may be please just email me my email is in the description box below don't send me messages on Facebook because I never seem to get them by the time and I, I'm not on Facebook very often and by the time I do go to Facebook and I check those messages are like a month or so old and I feel really flaky answering you know that long that far out now I will but then it's just like I'm like wow you know this sucks so if you have any questions for me regarding you know my soap my business custom orders whatever the case may be or just a general question where you may need help with something because I try my best to help everybody when I can but and I that, sometimes that's not always possible but I do try my best um just send it through my email. That way, I'll be sure to see it. And then sometimes, I'm not going to lie, my email is dumb. Because I got, I think, Windows 10. And anybody who has Windows 10, you know it ain't that. It's just not that reliable. Sometimes, I get emails and then can't find them later. And then you go to your trash. It's not there. You go to your send folders. It's not there. It's just nowhere. So, thanks a lot, Windows 10. So, <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So, now, what do I want to do? I'm undecided what I want this to look like on the top. I am really, really undecided. And, um, again, for those of you who are new, on this channel, honey, we talk about everything. It's not just a soap making thing. You see me make soap, but I talk about everything. If I know something that I can share, I will share with you. Alright, so, that's kind of pretty like it is, but... Yeah, I think I want to do that instead. Because I want it to have a little bit of texture. Okay, and then... Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> I hope you like it as much as I do, Sherry. Because I, I do love this right now. I'm like, can't you tell? Okay, wrong way. Go this way. Okay, and then this method of texturing is not my, my idea. It is not. This comes from Tiki at uh, Future Primitive, the Future Primitive. I just love when she does the top of her soaps like that. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try that. And mine doesn't look as stellar as hers, but I tried it anyway. So, I think I want to, yeah, do that again. I didn't really love that one. 
there we go that's better now we're not done so what I want to do mmm I was gonna put a little bit of black on top of here but it's I don't think I want to it's just too pretty to do that but what I will do is put a little bit of mmm you know what I was gonna put some botanicals now I know what I'm gonna do hold it, please okay so I was thinking to put some rose petals on the top and then I was like well maybe I don't want to do that and maybe I just want to go with uh, some what are these these are pennies and I think I do want to do the peony petals they're bigger but they're dainty you know what I mean I like them I do just hope that you know they cut well and the reason why I wanted to do botanicals is because I did it on my earthy goodness. Just kind of keeping up with the same theme here, you know what I mean? Okay, so now I'll pop one more there. There we go. Now, I want to do... Oh, okay. I want to do a little bit of poppy on this side. Just to kind of tie in the black. Oh, how very pretty. I love it. I do, I do, I do. So yeah, a little bit of poppy seeds just brighten things up, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, so. There we go. Love it. That's soap number one. And again, that is fragrance with the Karma Dupe. And now we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, bring this back in. And hopefully it's going to behave well for me. It's a little thick but that's okay things are going to loosen back up see yes and I did create a new recipe um I think that I'm gonna like it hopefully it plays well because this one as you can see it's still nice and fluid and it's just been kind of sitting off to the side hanging out now what do I want to do with this you know what Kenny the dumb stuff you do the dumb stuff you do I could have just used the same containers I really could have mm. Well, too late for that, because I already have my colors in here. Now, I think I need more black. How am I going to do this? Let's think again. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and put the fragrance in. Um, and this one is Patchouli by Rustic Essentials. Um, wow, that smells fantastic. Yes, it does. I had some left. So, yeah, okay. Um... Oh, and also, because I get asked a lot, whoa, how much fragrance do you put in? <laughs> it's just the camera angles that make it look like way more than this, because a lot of people think like this bottle right here is an eight ounce bottle. Tis not. <laughs> and even I have looked at some old videos, because I was trying to figure out how did I do that. And I'm like, whoa, dude. Um, <laughs> but then I looked at the bottom and realized, oh, that's not an um, eight ounce bottle. So, nope, I'm not using more that is suggested. I'm using the exact usage rate. It just looks like more than it actually is. All right, that's lovely. That smells really good. And I'm gonna hand stir that, and I might need to, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna, well, no, I'll just lighten the white. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? That was so dumb. I said, I'm going to lighten the white. Duh. <laughs> I'm going to try to make the white be very bright. That's what I meant. And this is going to be the in the pot. Be the in the pot. This is going to be a in the pot. So I'm going to go ahead and stir all this up. We'll do the same thing. What is this cap? What is this cap? Oh, okay. Never mind. So I'm going to pour off. Um, yeah. So, ooh, everything is just behaving beautifully. You see how loose that is, guys? Lovely. I love when my fragrances play well. Oh, that is wonderful. It's so loose and jiggly. Love it. Okay. So, I'm going to pour a cup. And then I'm going to pour a cup in... We'll do a cup and a half, I think. No, I don't need to do a cup and a half. I think that's good enough. Because I really don't want a lot of black. I just kind of want an accent of a black. Is that is that right? 
Mm, okay. Maybe I do want. I don't know, y'all. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do a cup and a half. There you go. And then this little bit right here is going to be white. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Okay. I got it. I got it. Now, go ahead and mix that up. And again, I'm going to do everything by hand just to keep everything loose. Okay, that should suffice, hopefully. And then I'll go ahead and stir that in by hand first. Okay, black enough. So, grab our bowl. I should probably get a clean towel. It's still working. It's doing its job, I suppose. All right, so here's my second tall skinny mini. <laughs> and most of this is going to go in here on the bottom. I don't want a lot for the top. Almost, I mean, for the top. For the in the pot. I really don't. I want the black to be very, very thin and wispy. Kind of feel like I want to wince a bit more in there. Yeah, that'll do. Move that out of the way and grab this one. And we're going to pour most everything in here. I said most, not all. I am going to scoop most of this with my spatula, but a bigger spatula into this mold so it doesn't break through yep just like that oh this is really pretty though I'm digging it y'all I am digging it okay now what I'm gonna do is just kinda hope and pray that I don't mess this up <laughs> okay Get all this crap out of you and then get my skewers and then we're gonna skew her bad joke of the day okay and I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do some of that just sort of makes sense and then some of that And I am going to, I'm not going to put botanicals on this one, but I am going to put poppy seeds on it. Just kind of tie things in together, you know. I think that, ah! You guys see what I just did? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> that makes me so sad. Oh. But it's a good thing it's in the pot. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, but, yeah. So... I'm going to put some poppy seeds. That's what I was saying. I think I was saying, but in here. Yeah, and I'm going to try that one more time, that whole cleaning thing. Yeah, there we go. That looks so much like my uh, man bun. That is hilarious. Okay, so take these gloves and glasses off because I no longer need them. Need them. We are out of the danger zone. And then I'm going to take some poppy seeds and just kind of sprinkle it on the top just like a nut. And then that's all we'll be doing. She didn't say glitter. And when people don't tell me for custom orders that they want glitter, I don't put glitter. You know, I don't just assume in the fun. So, because not everybody like glitter like me. Those are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love these. Super duper. Super duper cute. Love them. Okay. That's enough of that. But anywho, um, stick around because there will be a cutting. I'm going to go ahead and spritz these with some alcohol. And then, um... Now, I'm going to take some pictures for the gram first, and then we're going to spritz it with some alcohol. So, just hang on, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all? Hi, 
darlings. This is Katie the Messy Silver, and I am back with the cutting of my custom order soap for Cher Doll. So, um, this is the first one with the poppies on it, and it's uber duper cute. Um, it's been out of the mold for about three days, and this is my new recipe, and it feels lovely. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut these little ends off. I didn't want to wait too long because I know. Oh, that's very pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. So gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay. <laughs> that's the first cut and it is beauteous. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> I always get super excited when I do a custom order for somebody and it turns out just as beautiful as I expect it to be. So, um,. And I finish seeing what's on the inside, and of course, we're gonna cut it aside because it has poppy seeds and um, peonies on the top. And this is beautiful. How pretty! Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm about to steal this design, Cherry, because <laughs> this is just lovely. Oh, this is so pretty, and I hope you like this as much as I do. Because as you can tell, I'm like squealing all over the place right now about it. Super duper. And, I mean, it's not a fancy pour. You just kind of tilt it aside and kind of go nuts. But this turned out lovely. Everything is working out very nicely because this recipe is fin food and fabulous. It's nice and hard. I like for myself to be really, really hard. Even like with my old recipe, of course, I did love it. That's why I used it for so many years. But it was always kind of just a little bit like this is smooth and really hard. But my old recipe was always just a little bit tacky when I first took it out of the mold or when I first cut it and then it, it would, you know, air out and get harder. But this is nice and hard already. And these swirls are just divine. I'm all for it. And I got to keep looking up make sure I'm in view of the camera. Very, very pretty. Oh, squeak arm. I got to tighten that up. <sighs> Man, I just been down here trying to cut some soaps and clean up a little bit. Oh, looks like I got a little poppy down on me, poppy. Yeah. No, peony, not poppy. Peony flower down in there. This is beautiful. Look at that, guys. And that feather on that swirl is just divine, isn't it, though? That's top. Yep, I'm going to have to definitely steal this idea because it's beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, did I just show you guys that one? I don't think so. Look at, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. And I am like super peeved right now. Because I don't know what happened, but I can't even tell you how I broke my watch. That's terrible. I'm so sad about it. Because I love this watch. It's like nice when like, um, uh, you get a text message and you don't have to pick your phone up. You just look at your wrist. But, oh, well, I just stuck some tape over and kept it moving because, honey, I don't have time, no patience, no money to be buying a whole nother watch. And I didn't buy this one. It was given to me <laughs> with a promotion with uh, Samsung. So, uh, and it's kind of expensive. So, oh, well, we will be wearing the busted watch. <laughs> I'll look into seeing if I can find glass to repair it. But that's as far as I'm going to go there. This is beautiful. I just might, I'm not joking, I just may make this soap again today. <laughs> just a different fragrance. This is lovely. Okay, so the question of the day, guys, is um, would you guys like to have this soap for you all? Um, of course. Okay, I'll hold off. <laughs> I'll hold off on making, no, I won't. <laughs> just answer the question anyway. Would you like to see this soap in the store? Yes or no, or it doesn't matter. That's the question of the day. But I'm like, I'm all for it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let me change that. Question of the day is, would you like to see this, this soap in the store in this color or different color? So the options are this color or different color. There you go, because I know. I've already decided. <laughs> I'm going to make it. Um, I just need to know if you guys would like to see it in this color or a different color or it does not matter to you. All right, so now... Let's move on to the next soap. And this one is going to be just as pretty. I feel it. I do feel it. So, there you have it. And that's the top. So, I'm going to turn it on the side. Cut a little piece off. I should probably 
turn my phone down. I normally play music on my laptop, but it's upstairs because I didn't expect to come down here and start working. I don't even know why I came down here. <laughs> um, oh, what's the moon, moon fern, moon fern, um, moon fern studios. I found her while I was sitting at work. Yep, supposedly work because I was watching YouTube videos. Yep, shame, shame. But uh, <laughs> I just love her channel. She just, like Clyde Yoshida, for those of you who watched the video when I went to South Carolina and met up with him. This is beautiful, by the way. I love this. This reminds me of a mini um, man bun, like I said, but just for women. But Clyde is just a very peaceful person. Like, being around him, you feel at more at peace. And, um... Jennifer, I believe that's her name. I just found her. Um, she just exudes peace. I love listening to her talk. She lives in Ireland, but she's not a native there. But I just like her soap designs. I like her videos. So that's my shout out for today. Uh, Moonfern Studios. Go check her out. Because she's very pleasant. I just like the way that she does everything. Really, really do. These are lovely. And I kind of like the dip versus it being completely straight because the first piece is completely straight and I'm not sure I like that that much but these are much nicer so very very pretty I'm just very happy with this whole thing and now I love it when uh, um, I get custom orders and people tell me the colors that they want and um, I love that I do but sometimes like when they just give me a color palette they don't tell me light or dark or anything like that and they kind of let me do my own thing because I like more bold colors and of course at the end of the day it's not for me but I like uh, soaps that pop so as I was telling you guys that uh, my laptop was upstairs <laughs> so was my other memory card so I had to run up and get it but um, I didn't do any more I just kind of let the arm down and wait it until I came back. But this is very, very, very pretty. I love these. So if you guys are interested in getting a custom order and you want to, I think I said that in the making video. It's been a few days. But uh, if you guys do want to get a custom order and have two soaps made out of one uh, standard three pound loaf, I will do that for you. It's always really fun too. So I do enjoy it. But yeah, what I was saying about, I think that's the last thing I was talking about where um, I like to give out colors that kind of pop. Muted colors are nice too, but I am I think my soaps are known for standing out with the colors. I'm not saying standing out of the crowd. Lots of people do it, but that's what that's kind of my thing, you know. I like colors that pop. So she gave me her color scheme, but she didn't specify, you know, pale or she just said pink with some whites and blacks. And I said, gotcha girl. So, <laughs> I'm very happy with the way this came out. Because, I don't know, I'm just like, I'm such a weirdo. I had a custom order a long time ago, and she wanted um, pale, pale yellow, pale gray, pale orange. And it turned out so pale, you can barely see the colors. And I was just like, oh. So, <laughs> and I really honestly didn't even want to give it to her, because I just didn't like the way it looked. And, of course, I had to because that's what she asked for. But she was very, very pleased with it. So, of course, I'm not going to do anything the customer doesn't ask me to do. But um, I like the colors to kind of stand out from the background. If you guys know what I mean. All right. So, that is it for this cotton video. I'm so glad you guys stuck around to see it. Because I really do like the way these turned out. These turned out absolutely beauteous. And don't forget to take the poll because I am super jazzed about this one right here, I'm jazzed about both of them, but really this one because I don't have it. I did this some time ago. The owner of Rustic Essential suggests the color scheme and the pour, and that's what I did. Ooh, I don't even remember the name of that. So it's been a while, but uh, yeah, so there you go. Love this!